Hello everybody, I am back with a second video for today. Uh, we actually just got a new post from uh, Larian for a community update number 22 for Boulder's Gate 3. And I wanted to cover some of this with you and go over a little bit. There's some actual really important news in here and let's dive into it. So first topic over here is wielding the power of a mind flayer. It goes into a hidden skill tree for your illithid powers. Uh, this was actually covered first by Wolfheart FPS. Uh, I know I watched a video of his uh, actually detailing some of these and actually going into what some of these abilities are. It does talk about some of the abilities uh, that you can get into, um, psionic levitation and, you know, different powers. You, it says you can actually uh, go into being a displacer beast here. Now, from what they're saying, this is different than what it is in early access. It says each parasite consumed unlocks a new illithid power within a skill tree of 25 powerful Mind Flayer inspired abilities. Completely separate to the options you have when you level up in a traditional sense. These are divided into five branches themed around manipulation, health restoration, psychonic, and abilities that can infl inflict immense damage torment enemies and gradually weaken their them over time. Some abilities can be used to control those around you, pushing them to say things dialogue would otherwise not. Otherwise endow you with power to push and pull enemies like ragdolls during battle. Next, uh, they're announcing Twitch drops. So anybody streaming these having access to Twitch drops you will be able to get these as well, starting at August 3rd at 9 a.m. PDT, 4 p.m. UTC, until August 17th, 9 a.m. PDT, 4 p.m. UTC. Uh, you get the Stream Hoppers Loafers, Channelers Trunks, Pre Ring, <laughs> Undergarments, and Chatterbox Tabard. That's actually pretty funny. These look pretty cool, I guess. It actually looks kind of like uh, a Starian's outfit from Early Access. But eh, these are cool if you guys are into that thing. Um, I'm not really into the style, but I'm probably going to get them anyways because, you know, I like supporting other streamers. Uh, you actually get to uh, meet some of the Phenomenal cast. Um, I'm leave this for you guys to read um, in detail. I have this linked down in the description below. Um, it talks about some of the voice actors uh, that are in here. It talks about here that you can uh, respect your team. Uh, just going into that you can respect, as you see, Lazel is a bard right here. So you can respect your companions, but they will always be uh, their predetermined class story-wise. Uh, they go on to talk about global launch and the times. There's cross save compatibility. Stream Deck will be available at launch. Uh, 4K system requirements and ultra wide. Uh, now they do talk about that you are going to have a have a beefy computer to be able to run this at 4K um, and especially ultra wide settings. Uh, if you have a good CPU. With a GeForce 360, you can play at 1440, 60 FPS. Native 4K will require double fill rate, so we will recommend a top-end 4080 or 4090 or AMD equivalent. Of course, with DLL, DLSS, you can reach 4K with lower requirements. Uh, then it goes on to talk about how origin characters can fi find love without you. Uh, talking about your origin characters can romance without you being involved, which is actually pretty neat in my opinion. Uh, so they can find romance on their own without you being involved with them. And actually, I kind of, you know, it hinted at that in early access about how, you know, Gale and Shadowheart flirt a little bit in some of the interactions while you're walking through the world, which is actually pretty cool. They do, they do talk about that if you are um, in multiplayer, the original characters, uh, the custom characters, or the people actually playing in the party, they cannot romance each other. So you can only romance NPCs. If you're in a party setting, the person who engages uh, controls the conversation. So stating right here, Boulder's Gate 3 will launch on August 3rd at 5 p.m. Gent time. 
or non-Belgian time zone equivalent shown above, there will be no preloading the game before then, which really sucks because last time on early access, it basically crashed Steam. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. And it's probably going to crash Steam again. Uh, the same with GOG. So it talks about down for the year. Uh, the full resale of the game will weigh in at approximately 122 gigabytes. It's a huge file size. So this game is completely massive. Please do note that early access save games will not be compatible at launch. However, so much has changed. It's really worth it to start fresh. We've also been receiving questions from some who've already purchased the game about replacing your PC key with a Mac one, purchasing Baldur's Gate 3 made through Steam and GOG actually come with both PC and Mac access. So you're all good. All right. So that's basically everything I wanted uh, to space with you. It's kind of insane that they're not doing a, a pre-download, uh, especially for a game this size. And I don't know what would the uh, the hiccup be on something like that. I don't know if it's Steam or if it's something to them just going to trying to go ahead and keep everything, you know, to where data miters don't get into it or possibly just keep they keep making changes right up until the very end, which is kind of also unusual because they already uh, sent out pre-release codes to reviewers. But hey, it is what it is. So you guys know uh, that up here in this is going to be your time zones. Um, I don't know why it's not. This will be your time zones. Uh, I'm on Eastern time zone, so it'll be 11 a.m. for me. And wherever you guys are out in the world, this will be your time zone. So be ready and make sure that you're not stuck with Steam crashed and you got to wait forever. Thank you guys for checking out the video. If you liked the video, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. We are on the road to 1,000 subscribers. Me and the wife actually have a bet to see how long it will take for us to hit 1,000 subscribers on the channel. So I would love to see your guys' report. I appreciate you so much for watching the video. T-Bone out.